welcome back to my channel right now I only have my eyebrows done and I prep my face I moisturize and prime my face because today I am going to be reviewing the next to nothing foundation and powder this is how the foundation looks like see if I could get that zoomed in it's good enough right guys oh there it is so it is next to nothing face color illuminator um I got the color dark plus I don't know why but I did there's about nine color ranges so it's not a lot of color ranges in this collection so keep that in mind and the product gives you 35 ml to 1 1.2 fluid ounces so that's pretty good get really good usage out of this um so that's a lot of product and I have the next to nothing pressed powder and this is how it looks like sorry about the gunk and I got the color dark so I know I'm like all over the place so this is how the color dark look like and I don't know if you guys seen my other videos but you guys know that I like anything with a yellow undertone just as me I have a yellow undertone so um, this to me is pretty cool or neutral I have been using this foundation for about a week or two two weeks I've been wearing it on and off um, so I pretty I pretty much feel like I have a good understanding about the product if you guys seen my last video you'll know that I use um, this foundation and powder on my festival Coachella look so you can wear this um, product doing a full-blown makeup but right now I'm going out and I want to do a simple everyday makeup so that's what we're going to be doing today um, it comes with a sponge I pretty much don't use the sponge I use a brush and um, the mirror is here we have a mirror right here um, and that's pretty much it with the pressed powder um, like I said I already prepped my face um, my eyebrows is already done so I'm gonna do one half with a beauty blender and I'm gonna do another half with a um, brush so let's get started with the review I'm just going to let's do the side first for the sponge just gonna put this much see <laughs> this is an ultra balmy fluidy you could see that it's a fluidy texture so I'm just going to dab so let me get focus okay I'm focused I'm just going to dab. Mind you, this is the color Dark Plus. I'm dabbing, I'm dabbing away. So this is how it looks. I'm going to put a little tiny bit more. Um, like probably here. A little tiny bit more because I want a little bit more coverage. And then I'm dabbing. So I'm just going to show you the... Mind you, this is just an everyday makeup. So you do see that luminosity. So I am glowing. Just like what it claims to do. So, I guess that's enough. Sorry. Okay, so this is how it looks with um, the Beauty Blender. Hold on, let me just get some here as well. Um, it doesn't give you a lot of coverage, but it is a sheer to light coverage, I believe. 
so you know that you're not going to get a lot of coverage. Okay. So this is how it looks like with the beauty blender. So I have it here and then I have nothing here. Okay, so you can see half and half. Okay, it's not bad. Like I said, it's a light, I mean a sheer to light coverage. Now I'm just going to take a brush and I'm going to be using my e.l.f. brush because it has a flat top. And I like using it for um, foundation. It's actually a powder brush, the e.l.f. brush. And I like using it for foundation. I know, this is really weird. <laughs> So, y'all. Yeah. I'm dabbing it, dabbing it. This is how it looks with um the brush you still see my blemishes with the foundation doesn't cover like my little dark circles here but it like i said it's a sheer to like coverage it doesn't feel like i have anything on which i like um this is really good if you just want a little bit of a pick me up um so that's, I like, I mean, I like the foundation. I do. It is for all types of skin. I have, uh, I have oily skin. I have wear, worn this all day and I did not drip. It wasn't dripping. It, I did not oil up. I, it, it, it did last long. So I was impressed with that. I'm going to take my Real Techniques um, powder brush. It's like a big fluffy brush. And I'm going to be putting that all over my face, like so. It's lightweight. It doesn't feel heavy at all. So this, this is how everything looks like. with the powder sorry i'm like this camera's always out of focus or something i was gonna put concealer and all that but i felt like uh, you guys really wanted to see how the foundation and powder looks like together so this is how it looks um yeah i mean i like i like it it's like it doesn't feel like i have anything on it truly feel, tr it truly looks like skin. Now I'm just going to do my mascara, put some lipstick on. I'm not going to do any blush or anything like that. Um cuz like I said this is like a no makeup makeup day. No contour, no nothing. Oh, and by the way, I am using Max Insta Curl Lash, which looks like this. Um, it is my first time using this mascara. Um, do I like it? We'll have to wait and see about that. Does it curl my lashes? Because my lashes go like, like this. It doesn't curl. It kind of goes like boom. So, um, let's see if it curls. See, does it curl? I mean, it's, um, it's okay. <laughs> it's okay, lash. Drugstore is my babe. I love drugstore lashes. Um, and then I'm just going to line my lips with Max Spice Lip Liner. Which used to be like my favorite, favorite liner. 
um, I've been wearing this lip combo for the past week. I'm going to be taking my NYX um, matte lipstick in the color Honeymoon. This is like life, guys. It's really hard to find, to tell you the truth. But when you guys do find it, it's life, okay? This reminds me of um, embellishment, but this is a little tiny bit paler, I believe. Embellishment lip liner. Um, liquid lipstick. So this is what I do. I kind of just tap it in. I know it looks crazy now, but it's a method to the madness, guys. And then I'm just gonna go over with the lip pencil one more time. Just okay. And then I'm putting a gloss because usually on. I usually wear gloss on my days off or if I'm doing errands. And I'm using Cream Sheen, Cream Sheen Glass from MAC. And I'm using Boy Bait, which is one of my favorite lip gloss. And that's my everyday lip. Uh, going with Global Glow Highlight, or let me just spray myself with Fix Plus. Just to add a little bit of moisture, which I really don't need, but I'm going to add a little bit because I like a little bit of a glow. Just a tiny glow. Just to add a little bit of glow, some, you know, in some places. Okay, it's a tiny, tiny bit on the go. And then that's it, guys. This is the foundation and the powder. Um, how do I feel about it? I like it for everyday makeup. Um, it doesn't do a lot of coverage, but it does look like your skin. So um, that I like. Um, yeah, I mean, I like it. And it doesn't feel like anything. Like I said, I've been wearing it for two weeks on and off. Um, I have oily skin. It is a balmy fluid texture. Um, but I haven't had those days where, because I sweat. Like, I, I get oily. And it does not slide off or um, it doesn't come off it stays put which is really good my recommendation is that you guys should get the foundation and the pressed powder together because they work now if you only want to use the foundation that's fine that's your pers personal preference sorry my dog is acting crazy and I'm sorry if you hear background noise it is a full house in my house everybody is home so I apologize for that but anyways um what I was saying, yeah, my recommendation is that you should buy the foundation with the powder so you guys can get the most out of the most out of it. Um coverage. If you just wear the foundation by itself, I don't think you're gonna get as much coverage as as you would like. I don't know what you guys preference me. I'm a makeup girl, I like coverage. I like everything to be but this is just great. I see myself wearing this in the summertime, you know, when it's freaking hot outside and you just don't want to feel like you have anything on. This is just great. This is just a great summertime um, foundation. Like, I feel like I have nothing on. Like, it feels like I have nothing on. That's insane. And um, what else? If you're pale or something like that and you just want a little bit of a natural tan, this foundation is great for you. I'm already olive brown girl I don't need a tan or if I do then it's like whatever but this is great for somebody who likes to like you know get like a really um good for somebody to have like that natural tint or a natural glow if you're lighter than me that's great 
and this really goes and if anything you could always pair this with a foundation i see myself wearing this a lot during the summertime um hanging out barbecues and stuff like that if you guys want to see how it looks with concealer and you baking full-blown makeup out just check out my last video because I did a, a Coachella festival look and I use the pressed powder and the foundation so you can definitely do a full-blown face with this foundation so the retail price for this foundation is $31 US which is I feel like it's not bad um, you know, and you're getting, you know, 30, 35 mLs and 1.2 fluid ounces. I mean, you get a lot of product for what you're spending and it's MAC, you know. So, and I hope you guys like this video. Thumbs up, like, subscribe, and if there's any video or suggestions that you want to leave in the comments below, let me know and I will comment back. Anyways, I am out. Thank you for watching this video. See you. Bye.